Hi, welcome back to Easy English with Tim. We're going to be starting Chapter 7, Lesson 3 today. Let's take a look at our vocabulary word. We're going to do this. Uh, there's a lot of vocabulary, so uh, let's get started. Number one, oven. Oven. The O is going to sound like an uh. Uh. Oven. Number two, Stove, stove, O, silent, stove, stove, sink, 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 dish, washer, dish, washer, bed, bed, dresser, dresser, lamp, Lamp, sofa, sofa, oven, stove, sink, dishwasher, bed, dresser, lamp, sofa. Number nine, chair, chair, table, table. Washing machine, washing machine, dryer, dryer, landlord, landlord, or owner, owner, comforter, comforter, paint, paint, wood floor, wood floor. Chair, table, washing machine or washer, dryer, landlord, owner, comforter, comforter, paint, wood floor. So this is a comforter. This is the blanket on top of the bed, comforter. Paint, paint. Wood floor, wood floor, wood floor. Carpet, carpet, tile, tile, freezer, freezer, renter, renter. So here is tile, carpet. Freezer, freezer, carpet, tile, freezer, renter. Now these are different types of tile and the only thing that makes them different is the location where they are so floor tile shower shower tile bathroom bathroom tile roof roof tile and this has a special name for it. This is called backsplash tile. Backsplash. This is in the kitchen. In the kitchen. All right, let's take a look at our vocabulary. We'll move these out of the way for the first row. Okay. What is this? 
chair. What is this? Lamp. What is this? Bed. What is this? Sink. What is this? This is the refrigerator. What is this? The freezer. What is this? Sofa. What is this? Dresser. What is this? Dishwasher. What are these? This is the oven. This is the stove. What is this? Dryer. What is this? Wood floor. What is this? Table. What is this? Washing machine. Chair. Lamp. Bed. Sink. Freezer. Refrigerator. Stove. Oven. Dishwasher. Dresser. Sofa. Table. Washing machine or washer. Wood floor. Dryer. Okay, we're going to practice our singular and our plural. So we're going to look for clue words. If it has this, that means it is singular. If it has a lot of, that means it is plural, many. So if it is singular, we're going to start with is. Is there a basement? A lot of. Are. Are there a lot of windows? A. Uh, is. Is there a garage? A. Uh, is there a dishwasher? Uh, is there a washing machine or washer? Is there a washing machine? Is there a washer? A lot of, plural, are. Are there a lot of cabinets? Cabinets. Uh, is. Is there a dryer? Is. Is there a pool? Is there a basement? Are there a lot of windows? Is there a garage? Is there a dishwasher? Is there a washing machine? Is there a washer? Are there a lot of cabinets? Is there a dryer? Is there a pool? Now, in English, two words are the same. This is a pool table and this is a pool. Now, the difference between this in a conversation is 
If you are going to use the pool table, you're going to say play pool. If you are going to swim, swim in the pool, swim in the pool. Even if you use the word play, you're going to use in. Play in the pool. Play pool, swim in, play in the pool. Okay, the general rule when we're talking about a question and answering the question is simply whatever the question starts with, this is how, this is the verb you're going to use to respond. Okay, so if I start with is, I'm going to respond with is. Take a look. is and are. I highlighted the is in green for you so you see where that is belongs. The question, is there a pool? To respond, there's your is. Yes, there is. If it's negative, no, there is not. Or, no, there's not. Or no, there isn't. Each one of these has is because the question started with is. Plural, are. Are there a lot of kids? Yes, there are. Negative, no, there are not. No, there aren't. Is are. Same thing with do and does. Questions that start with do are going to have a do in the answer. Those that start with does are going to have a does. Do you like summer? Yes, I do. Negative? No, I don't. Does she eat seafood? Yes, she does. Negative? No, she doesn't. So whatever we start with is how we are going to answer the question. Okay, thank you for joining me today. That is the end of this section. And thank you for studying and coming. Uh, I appreciate everything uh, you learning how to speak English because it can only help you in your life. So thanks for being there. Bye.